Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Crown Zenith tin. This is the third and final tin that I have to open up on my channel. So this tin I did purchase from the Pokemon Center Online for $24.99. Inside the tin, if I flip the tin over, you get five Crown Zenith booster packs, a code card for the TCG Live, and then one full art promo. In this case, it is the Galarian Zapdos. So of the three, at least artwork design wise, I prefer this one the least. Of course, I open Moltres, Articuno, and then Zapdos. So give me a moment and I'll take the plastic wrap off of the tin this is one of my favorite crown zenith products just because i like the promo so well the only negative the promos are not textured they're just a glossy look and feel just like the glaring gallery subset the ones that aren't the v or v star so five booster packs on the inside set that aside Okay, value-wise, these promo cards do have some value to them, and I think long-term they will be good investments. So here is the Galarian Zapdos, SWSH283 for the card number. A lot going on in the artwork. And then the TCG Live code card. Again, the TCG Live is a great way to learn to play the trading card game competitively. You really don't have to have as much money invested because, of course, online things are much cheaper to purchase and acquire, and there's always people to play at any time. So Crown Zenith is a special expansion. It is the final Sword and Shield series set. I am going to go over to TCGPlayer.com to take a look at the price guide. 230 total cards in this set. The Galarian Gallery subset has 70, and then there are 160 cards in the base part of the set 159 plus the one pikachu secret rare value wise all the most valuable cards are in the subset i still have not pulled more really most of the valuable cards in this set i've actually had luck with these three right here but as of this recording 136 dollars and 74 cents for the giratina v star some beautiful looking artwork on these cards if you go back to the base part of crown zenith $30 is the most valuable card, and the values drop off after that. Would not mind pulling some of the full art, the textured energy cards. Of course, I am very excited for Scarlet and Violet to be released. There's been a little bit of lull in my videos lately just because I'm waiting on some of the new products to be released. Of course, Crown Zenith, a special expansion. You can't buy packs like this individually in retail stores or as a booster box. These products, like the tins being released from what, January of 2023 through May, I believe, June. That is the longest sort of release schedule of any set in the TCG history. Four and then two to move that rare and reverse hollow to the back of the pack. First pack of five starts with Bidoof, Coughing, Salandit, Purloin, Grubbin, Psychic Type Energy, Ultra Ball, one of the best trainer cards of all time, Crushing Hammer, a very good trainer card as well, Luxio, Reverse Hollow, nice, a Galarian Gallery subset card of Duskull. GG would be the card number that indicates Galarian Gallery, 28 of GG, 70. So if you're wondering what the number down here means, pretty self-explanatory. And then the final card would be an Absol, a rare haul. Of course, the colors around the illustration window indicating it has something to do with the Lost Zone. You can jump ahead towards the end of this video. You'll see it in the video description if you want to just go to the poll summary of course the featured pokemon for the sword and shield series of sets on the artwork of the cover art of every single pack second pack of five starts with emolga young goose cherubi execute rockruff metal type energy digging duo shaman 
Crushing Hammer again, Reversal of a Pangoro, which is a rare, and the final card would be a Waylord. Ideally, I would get one great pull from five packs. If I don't get anything the rest of this opening, just pulling the one Galarian Gallery subset card I'm happy with. Of course, it's not that V or V star that's really valuable, but I am trying to complete the set just from packs. The Galarian Gallery subset, that is. I haven't completed a set in quite some time just because they're getting so large and so expensive to complete. Yanma starts this one. Pawniard, Shadot, Galarian Mr. Mine, Sunkern, Water Type Energy, Laron, Friends and Sinnoh, which is available as a full art trainer in the set, Gloom, Reverse Solo of a Potion, a Common, and the final card, a Volcarona. Unfortunately, some poorly cut cards that are off centered quite a bit. Second to last pack now. Of course, the Sheehan and Zamazenta, the two Pokemon on the cover artwork. I really liked using the Sheehan V. In competitive play, first time you're seeing that marker, the V star marker. Seal starts this one. Cricketot, Aeron, Riolu, Starly. That V star marker, Friends in Hisui, Lost Vacuum. Luxio, Reverse Solo of a Drag LG, doing okay with the rare Reverse Solos, that's for sure. And the final card would be an Executor. Final pack here, hoping for some last pack magic. Lots more Crown Zenith products to open up in the near future. As of recording this video, the next products that will be released, you have the pin collections as well as the premium playmat collection featuring more Peko V Union. April 14th, I believe the official release date for all those products. I have pre-ordered those. I'll have a good mix of Scarlet and Violet as well as Crown Zenith to open up in the near future. Final pack here. Let's see what happens. It starts with Cherubi, Starly, Switch, Execute, Love Disc, Darkness Type Energy, Friends in Hisui, Carnivine, Lost Vacuum, Reverse Solo of a Luxray, that's another rare, and the final card would be a Duraludon V, one of, what, 18, 17 different Pokemon V available in this set, not a bad way to end the tin, another solid tin from this series of tins opened up on my channel, so give me a moment and I'll summarize all of my pulls. All right, from five booster packs, I was able to pull out three rare Reverse Solos, Luxray, Drag Algae, and Pangoro, a rare Hollow in Absol, a Pokemon V and Duraludon, and then my favorite pull of the opening, the Galarian Gallery Duskull. So that will end this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. And then if you would like to help support my channel even more, certainly check out my book or my Patreon, both are linked in the description of this video. So thank you everyone for watching, happy Pokemon card collecting, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.